Hey, it's no one nerd, and uh, this is going to be a, a tutorial, my first one actually, for Unreal Engine. So, if you've been watching my channel, you might have seen recently I did a game called Freak. So, I wanted to show just how you can create a uh, similar functionality in that to having a basically a uh, character that runs towards you, and then if it reaches you, it kills you. So, we'll be covering uh, just creating a basic pathfinding so that the in the first person mode so that the um there could be an enemy that can come up to you and attack you basically and then it's the end of the game so let's do that so i'll this there's, there's a version i made earlier i'll just quickly demonstrate uh what we're going to be doing and then we'll go into actual specifics about stuff so first person mode we've got a landscape which will cover a bit and then this guy runs towards you try and run away from him and then if he catches me and collides with me kills me i'm dead so that's the loop of what we're going through so you could build on this to make some sort of zombie game or something like this and we'll be basically covering how how that's done okay let's go we're going to create a new project and not a new level a new Project, we're going to be using the first person template for this. Just gives us a bunch of stuff out of the box that we need. We're going to be using blueprints, we're not doing this for C. So I'll call it running zombie or something. I've got a bunch of assets which I've already got downloaded from Mixomo. Uh, so I've downloaded this guy, some animation, two animations, which we'll be using for uh, the animations on the in the little game. So first thing we'll cover quickly is just creating a basic landscape. We're going to delete all the starting content. Delete the floor. Keep the boxes in there. Because why not? Landscape. So go to landscape modes. Light modes. Landscape. We want to create generic material of grass. Which will be the I'm going to create this to like 30 by 30. Not made, I'm not building a huge environment because it's not really it's not really a tutorial about environment building. There you've got your sculpt, so we're just gonna build some mountains around here. Um quickly. Just clicking on the mouse to raise each area up. Okay, just want to create some really basic because the rest of this is gonna be quite and this is your landscape tutorial. Okay, now I'll so if I click play, first person template. I'm going to take the gun out and the text that it's there. There we go. Okay, fine. Uh, so I'll go back into select mode. So I don't want that there anymore. And then I think I'll go into my first person character controller. And I'm going to just you don't have to do this, but I don't really need the gun spawning projectile in the event graph. So I'm going to use it. And then also for the uh, get rid of the gun. Get rid of the gun here. Just get rid of all this. File, save, Now I'm just a hand. So that's that. So now we've got our landscape set up, we've got a little crosshair which I'll probably get rid of even in the, in the hand. But that's sort of just set up stuff. So first things first, let's create, let's add in our content we're going to require for the uh, enemy. So we're going to create a new folder just called enemy. I'm going to import in a bunch of files downloaded before, like I said, for the animations. I can just find where they are. Uh, so we've got a running animation, running animation, and a zombie attack animation. So I've got that, and then I've got running one. Make sure you tick input in animations, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, 
so that's that so far so um next this is how uh, i did it so i got i need to get the um third person if you just bear with me a second i just need to get the get to the here and it, basically i'm finding the third because the way I, I did it was to use the third person controller from the third person um let's get the third person character and then i need to find open this project up so if we go to open explorer and then i'm going to go to start blueprints and add this uh, into start content or add it into enemy pool makes sense paste that in there content enemy third person character controller uh, we, want, we don't so there's a few things we need to do here like this is not uh, we don't want it to be a third person character controller we actually want it to be a we don't need all this stuff, so we get rid of all this. This is just generated from the template. Uh, we want to get rid of the camera boon. We don't need that. Get rid of follow count. And then we also want to add something called form sensing. And uh, we also want to give this a mesh. So let's add the mesh. So it's running one, which adds this guy. Compile all well and good. So we're going to put pull on sensing. Uh, and we want to go to on C pawn. And this is where we start creating our. So we want to cast to first person to first person character. And then when the AI move to, which moves the uh, drag this target act to the first person character because that's the uh, that's the target, and then we want to add also uh, self reference to self. So there we go. Also, the next thing we want to do, we need to add a nav mesh to this, otherwise this won't this. Uh, this um, nav nav mesh bounds volume, otherwise the enemy won't have anywhere to move any navigation the map as it were. I suppose. So you need to drag this across the entire play area. Okay, so let's just see. I don't think it will work now, but I might do. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, he's following me now. So that's good. The dude's following me. No animation yet, but I'll add that in a second. So you can see that we've got the spooky character that's sort of following us at the minute. Gets a bit stuck there, which is that's pretty the name of the nav mesh. But we're not doing this fine tune, we're just doing this as a quick run through. Uh, if I go to edit blueprint again, and then I'll just get it to play the animation uh, as well. So play animation and I'm going to select running Xamo and just add it to me looping for now okay good so that should now if I just go play okay yep so he runs towards me now so that's good next we want to add it so that when uh, the enemy overlaps of us basically uh, gives us a screen and it says you got killed. So we'll do that quickly. It shouldn't take too long. It's just a case of creating a blueprint of full death. A widget, sorry, of full death. And I'll add just a bit of text that says you were killed or something. You were killed. In the content text. 
Um, it's a bit bigger. Put it to the front. Get in line, and then we'd create a button. So it seems to work. Restart that one. Probably won't do even make that functional, but just just to demonstrate it. And I'll make that black. And then put restart. And compile. So we've got that ready. So we're going to the third person character controller again, which is the, our enemy in this example. Event overlap. So we're going to find event on event overlap. Event action actor begin overlap. That's the one. Other actor, we're going to go get actor tag and I'll add the tag to the player in a minute. We're going to add uh, tag as in the player and we'll add that in a second. I'll show you how to do that later. Make sure it's correct. It really won't work. And then we drag this off here. Um, also, we need to create a boolean for if the player is alive. So I'm just going to go live. Set this to initially to true. Set it to true. Get, uh, so we drag this here, get alive, create a branch. Condition is this. If this is true, then we want to uh, play animation. I want to play animation uh, attack, the attack animation, which is here. We want to set alive to false. So you drag this and instead of get, we do set. So it's set to false now. We need to take that box and set it to false. And we want to delay that by a few seconds. So there's a little bit of time in between uh, seeing the animation play out and then uh, completed. We want to do add the widget, which this might Set the game to pause in that in between that. Set game paused. True. Make sure to click that it was all work. And uh, remove all widgets from screen in case anything else is in there. Then wanna chip. We wanna select the one we create for which from the drop down. Only player just get the player controller and just add to import target and connect that to return value which says the player controller. Compile all that, save, and then also I need to add the tag to the first person player, otherwise it won't work. Let's select this so uh, I've done it. Um, so find where it says tags here. We're going to add a new one it's called player. Then click play, and hopefully, if any luck, there is running towards me. It's running towards me. Ah, something went wrong with the animation. What went wrong with the animation is that uh, basically need a check because otherwise it would turn back to the initial loop we did here. So it's still detecting me, so I need to do this. I need to check first if the player is alive. So uh, I'm going to do get alive. Link this link. Um, branch. Condition is this. If the condition is true, then do this. Because otherwise it will just do what we're about to leave it from before. So now we go and then oh well I think I've selected the wrong animation so
well, I don't know, I'll, I'll leave that anyway. But um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of how you can get a quick um, anime, uh, loop for um, a character following you. You're just sort of starting point anyway. Obviously you can make like a zombie game of this. I can create a few different versions of this one to adjudicate in. Uh, Create a few different a few different ones of this guy. Okay, so we have multiple enemies. Something like a few of them towards it. Oh no. <laughs> and there's a bunch of other stuff you probably have to do as well around getting the uh widgets to focus but i mean in terms of just getting some players some uh, enemies that chase you that's that's that. yeah you have to like get the mouse back in focus but anyway i think that'll do that's i hope that's been an interesting little quick unreal engine tutorial uh that's my first one and like i'm not an unreal i'm a hobbyist in the engine developer so i apologize for doing a little bit uh Weirdly, but anyway, that'll do. Happy to our nerd. Like and subscribe if you like it, and uh, yeah, in a bit.